excitement to see tourists strolling down the street of Luxor Bazaar. But it's very unusual to find a lady who is actually living here. So we have today a lady from England, and her name is Julie. Let's find out her story together. Hello, Julie. Hello, Dana. Nice to meet you. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Yes, very warm. Yeah, very warm indeed. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, what about your story? I came here in um, January 2000, uh, sorry, December 2009, um, just before the first revolution, and I started off in Haggadah. Um, I haven't been back since, only for one week, actually. Um, really? Yes, yeah, so I, I met my husband in Haggadah, and he brought me here to his hometown in Luxor, um, and I've loved it ever since. Um, I've stayed here, my family's been here, my family's lived here for six months, I have a daughter and a granddaughter, and they came, and my son also, and they loved it. But unfortunately, they've got commitments back home, so they have to remain there. I, I love it. I stay here, and I love it. So what was the impact of your decision on your family? Um, they're adults now. Um, they accept that, you know, mom has a life of her own, and she must go wherever she makes her happy. And they love my husband, and they're very happy for me. So in your life in uh, Luxor, uh, do you deal with Egyptians? On a daily basis, yes. I, I shop with them, I eat with them, everything I do. I, I share my life with Egyptian people, and they're very friendly, very friendly. So you actually feel it's your home? Of course, yes. It, the, the, the hospitality here is immense. Um, the country itself, is it, it has a wealth of of everything for, for, for the tourist. It really does. It has the weather, um, uh, ancient history, everything, everything you could wish for for a tourist. So uh, were you working back home? I was working back home, yes. Um, but initially, when I, I told you before, I came for a holiday um, and I gave up my job and I haven't looked back since. So what about your life here, uh, Julie? Did you find a job? No, I didn't find a job here. I, uh, my husband and I decided we don't, we, I don't work. I didn't need to work anyway because of my income in England and he had a small um, income from his feluca. But since the decline of tourism, there is no business. So we're, you know, we, we are struggling a little, um, but we're getting by. Um, but the tourism, they need to come back to help Egypt. Everybody needs tourists here. And I don't know why they don't come. I don't know why the uh, the FCO don't lift their ban, because it's important. Every other country has, but apart from England. 